Hey indie game fans, with everything going on in the world right now, I believe that we could all use some chill in our lives, so my picks for the top 25 best relaxing indie games starts with Nog. There's something uniquely comforting about the tactile feel of fiddling with an object, pushing buttons, pulling levers and such, and this game does indeed do it very well. There's optional VR support, which seems like a good way to go about it, but even playing in the standard desktop mode is excellent. It's colourful, whimsical and not too difficult, so just a fun little game to fiddle with. Adorable looking animals is another surefire way to keep things chill since just admiring their cuteness will take your stress levels down. So Yono and the Celestial Elephants is an excellent one of these. In this world, elephants are born from the stars once per millennium, where our hero is the chosen one and has to save the world that he has never seen before. <gasps> this mostly reminds me of a Zelda game in that there are both puzzles and combat, but not too difficult in either areas. Just look at the adorable round creature and the various things that he can do such as store water in his trunk to water plants and you get a sense of how cute this game is. There's something meditative about cleaning up and reorganizing and House Flipper manages to capture that very nicely. While the inherent drive behind this is to make money by flipping houses after renovating them, remodeling a home in your own vision is quite the satisfying experience. Knock down walls, clean the floors, paint, and rearrange furniture to your customer's liking. Now only to get around to this in real life. One of the main selling points of Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles is that this has no combat and might just be that wholesome fix that you are looking for. Adventure and explore across the island while finding spirits to clear up the muck polluting it. This has all your Harvest Moon or Fantasy Life systems such as farming, fishing, raising animals, carpentry and more with different farms that you can build in the different biomes. I really love the look of the creatures that you can raise and ride on and the no combat portion makes it relatively stress free. There have been a number of exploration and flying games, but my pick has to be the mesmerizing Fugo. While there really isn't any objectives per se, the pure feeling of locomotion in this game is excellent. While you do start off as a bird, Flying close to other creatures will cause you to take on their physical characteristics like colour and shape, so it's quite a trippy experience. Beautiful voxel look and this is still in early access, 
lots of more features to come, but the freedom of flight is the main highlight here. The open road is certainly one way to get your mind off things, especially if you do it frequently enough in real life and are not stressed out by the thought of driving, and what better series than the truck simulator games, either of the European or American persuasion. Take up delivery jobs and ply the open roads as you move from point A to point B, customizing your truck and listening to the radio, podcasts, or your own playlist while on the way. Bonus points if you have a steering wheel set up at home. When you came into this world, there gradually arose into being the sensation of I. And you feel that you are I just as much as I feel that I am I. But all the time, everywhere, there are other eyes starting up. Whether they be human, animal, anything you like. They be in other galaxies, etc. Always, they are starting up. Everything has become the star of many Reddit posts, with titles such as Everything is on 70% discount on Steam, but this fundamentally is a simulation game that allows you to embody, well, everything. From bacteria, bugs, animals, and even up to the galactic scale, this allows you to jump from one to the next in a wholly trippy game that makes you feel our place in this universe. It's rather freeform and not a traditional game per se, but worth exploring to experience everything that the world has to offer. And what it's trying to do is to see how jazzed up it can get. How far out this play of rhythm can go. If I had a go-to example of how far graphics have come in games, it would probably be East Shade, since this has you exploring the eponymous island as a travelling painter, capturing the various scenery and landscapes that your mother loved. Your reason. Don't forget to take it when you leave. It must mean a great deal to you. For there are strange, uncanny valley-like anthropomorphic animals roaming the land, which don't look quite right, the landscapes and scenery are jaw-dropping in their beauty, with a large variety of biomes and areas to explore. Partial to sandy beaches. This is splendid! It will be the prized piece of my sitting room. If you haven't got lodging for the night, feel free to stay at the inn. I'll leave the upstairs room unlocked for you. There are small missions that you can go on to help the townspeople, and it's just a chill time. There's something beautiful and captivating about geometrical shapes, and to see these being drawn out in real time is super neat. Part drawing tool and part puzzle game, the main objective in Engare is to create the patterns given to you, but again, seeing these repeated and mapped onto the final design is wonderful indeed. Repeating motions imbues a sense of calm for me, so a meditative, if simple, idea. The recently released Watam is from developer Keita Takahashi, most famously associated with the Katamari series, and this latest game was in development for quite a while. 
This is about the joy of friendship, as you play as a sad mayor, but it realizes that by holding hands and exploding together, this brings that spark of happiness into his life. There are weird and quirky interactions, such as characters that get eaten by the mouth, transforming into poop shapes, which factors into the puzzles, so a strange if joyous experience. Similar to Nog covered earlier, Vignettes is a tinkering game where you look at and rotate objects in 3D, watching them seamlessly transform from one item into the next. Color scheme and items effectively convey a wide range of different moods, so a simple, pleasant game to chill out to. Again, as with you go above, the sensation of flight certainly is a freeing experience, and what better than to be the wind itself? beautiful environments and very relaxing. Stumbled upon this game a little while back and I'm happy to finally get the chance to showcase it since Chicky Chooks is a management game about building your own chicken farm. Place coops, feeders, incubators and more as you keep your chooks happy and sell the eggs for money. Love the visuals and the whimsy and this is also free to play with no microtransactions which is pretty rare. A large variety of different chickens of varying rarities, mini games, events, a day night cycle and more really flesh out this experience which is well worth checking out. One of the hidden gems of last year is Later Alligator, an adventure game set in Alligator, New York City, where naturally, everyone is an alligator. cast of characters are wonderfully animated and unique, with so many minigames across a wide variety of genres and tributes to other video games. On top of the visuals, the music and sound design is absolutely wonderful with a light-hearted plot which keeps things moving. One of the more chill experiences on the surface is the low-poly city builder Islanders, where you build cities on islands. It's quite simple in concept, but rather than a more relaxing freeform builder, you instead have to place buildings more strategically to get more points, lumberjacks near trees for example, and need enough points to advance to the next level. Regardless, chill and relatively low stakes. 
Hey guys, if you can, do support me on Patreon since I'm currently trying to upgrade my microphone and to reinvest in the channel. You do also get access to a members only Discord channel, so thank you all for the support. Come follow me. I'll show you the side of the world, the places that you've never seen. Come follow me. The latest iteration of the massively popular classic game, Tetris Effect, ticks things up a notch with the visual presentations and effects, but at its core, it's that same puzzle game that we have all come to know and love. The galaxy motif is stunning, with mesmerizing graphics which are really quite hypnotic, and if you have a VR headset, this takes things even further. Tetris can certainly be a stressful experience at higher difficulty levels, but clearing lines and zoning out has been used as a tool to deal with anxiety, so perhaps some calm that we all need right now. One of the more inspiring tales in gaming is the turnaround of No Man's Sky, penned at release due to the number of unfulfilled promises, but the team at Hello Games, on top of the impressive procedural generation engine, has been quietly working away at the game since 2016 and managed to make it quite the experience. explore an absolutely massive universe with all sorts of different environments and biomes as you craft, fight, and explore your way to the center of the universe. Doesn't quite qualify as a chill game per se, since there is combat, but it is just amazing to explore all of these planets. Another way to relax is with a laugh, and what better than the comedic puzzle game What the Golf. This is an anti-golf game for people who hate golf, so that description fits me to a T. This has all sorts of clever and insane puzzle ideas that are iterated upon level after level, with quite a hefty number of them in total, and a must play in my opinion. Now Stardew Valley has been mentioned enough on this channel, one of the huge runaway successes in indie gaming from the efforts of primarily one person who made the game in his off hours over the years while working a part-time job. Very inspiring story, but back to the game. In the years since launch, this has had quite the number of free content patches, currently at version 1.4, with 1.5 incoming, where new farm layouts, items, clothing, relationship options, monsters, buildings, pets, music, and quality of life improvements have been added. So if you have not played since launch, this is a fantastic time to go back. As a bonus, this game will absolutely consume your life and make things like self-quarantine pass by more quickly with a very compelling loop that makes you go just one more day. If there was a standout, unique experience in games in 2019, it might just be kind words. Not so much a game as an anonymous pen pal writing program, pour your worries out into the world and get some kind words in response. You could also throw out some random, heartfelt words of encouragement, 
Also read random ones sent your way via paper airplane, but what makes this work is empathy and the fact that we are all in this together. The developers have been great about the moderation so far, which is commendable, and it really is nice to hear some kind words even if it comes from strangers. One of my top 10 games of the year when it was released, Slime Rancher is my go-to example for some light-hearted fun. Explore the far, far range across a variety of biomes and wrangle and raise slimes back on your ranch. You must grow vegetables, fruits and chickens to feed your slimes, with again, another very compelling gameplay loop in place that keeps you venturing out and exploring. Since launch, this has also received multiple patches and seasonal events, with I believe more to come. Another example of an organization and sorting game, Wilmot's Warehouse has you playing as a worker in a warehouse who has to receive, sort and deliver goods in the quickest time possible. While that does sound like the job of an Amazon employee in the warehouse, which is the furthest thing from relaxing, this does have some downtime and helpful upgrades that enables you to do your job more easily. If you have that compulsive part of your brain that just likes to sort and categorize things, this game is certainly for you, where I personally found this to be quite satisfying to sort the little icons into some form of order that made sense to me. If you love beautiful looking games, then Abzu is a must play. While certainly not for people with thalassophobia, play as a diver and uncover the beauty of the underwater world. The ocean is both majestic and terrifying at the same time, so this game manages to encapsulate that perfectly. According to the developers, Abzu means Ocean of Wisdom, and while there are some stressful parts, the experience as a whole is a beautiful one. One of the most heartwarming and wholesome adventure platformers is the delightful Wonder Song, where you play as a bard trying to save the world. However, you don't do this through building a sword, but through the power of music instead. The color view corresponds to the different notes and is used quite cleverly in the puzzles with the main gist being to help the people that you encounter. It's a really heartwarming tale of overcoming challenges and doubt, and hopefully will help you see the rainbow after the storm. Perhaps it was due to the timing, but 2019 really had a bunch of these wholesome games, with the highlight being the wonderful A Short Hike, which has you climbing a mountain in order to get a cell signal. However, as a bird, you can flap and glide your way around while picking up items and helping other characters. I love the art style and the writing is excellent and whimsical and the whole premise is something that we can all relate to, but a really chill experience taking the number one spot. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, share and subscribe, check out the recommended playlist or the best pick for you and I will see you after the jump.